All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, valve lapping or, or uh, basically just kind of a, a nice little regrind on these uh, on these valve seats. Now, a couple things that, to take notice is when you do this, you certainly uh, want to make sure that you mark these things so that when you take the head apart, you get it completely clean. Of course, once you have it all cleaned off and everything else, this head is going to go through a full cleaning. And we're going to pull all the oil galleys, scrub them out, soap and water, the whole nine yards, right? Nice scrubby brush treatment. Uh, but one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you do clean these. Okay, you may notice, for instance, on the valve itself here, I do have these guys marked. I've taken the liberty of stamping all these. This one happens to be the number four valve. Uh, this one here, three, I've just uh, just completed. I'm about to do number four here. You can certainly tell the difference from uh, the old seat versus, uh, or actually the old seat versus the one that I've just ground. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to take some uh, some grinding compound, you know, some grease mix valve grinding compound. It looks, uh, looks something like that, right? Uh, typically available at, uh, you know, any, any auto parts store that uh, is probably local to you. But needless to say, what you want to do is take one of these little valves like this and you want to just put some of this stuff just around the edge here uh, you know you can be kind of gentle with it you don't have to overdo it it doesn't take a whole lot of this stuff by any means uh, you just want to get enough to where you've got a good 360 degree coverage on it okay once you've got that you can go ahead put the valve back into the head Okay, and you have this nice little tool, looks like this, right? Little suction cup on both ends, a small one and a big one. Um, just get that guy a little bit wet on the end so that it grabs. From that point, all you want to do is just kind of stick this guy straight onto the valve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to agitate this guy back and forth with both of my hands here. Okay, now what we're doing is, is we're listening for the sound to get quieter. See how that got nice and quiet? Okay, now once that happens, you wanna just kinda of lift up on it a little bit. That'll draw that compound back into it. I like to rotate it just a little bit and give it a little more. I'm applying just a very little amount of pressure, just enough to kind of keep it seated. You certainly don't have to, uh, you know, dive in deep on this thing. You don't have to put tons of pressure on it by any means. You just wanna have enough to where you've just got a little bit of friction on this guy. Go ahead and pull it up a little bit. Again, listen to how it gets quiet. Oh yeah, that's nice and quiet, right? So, now it's kind of nice too because you can use this little guy to help you kind of pull this dude out of there. Go ahead and pull this valve out here and then we'll go ahead and just Give it a quick little cleaning, nothing too fancy here, just to, you know, kind of paper towel this guy off. All right, a little brake cleaner probably wouldn't hurt either, but uh, like I said, this thing's going to go through a full cleaning. Now, once you have done this step, you'll be able to see that seat exceptionally well. All right, let's see if I can get it into focus. There you go. All right. So now you can really see that seat. So you can see I still got a little bit of pitting there. Probably need to do this one just a little bit more. Just uh, kind of make it all feel good. And of course, once you get everything done, you definitely do want to come back through here and make sure that you clean all of this stuff out. This has uh, some really heavy grit in it, right? Or fine grit, I should say. But uh, needless to say, this will this will tear your motor up if you, if you leave it in there. So make sure when you do this, you do get all of this stuff out of there. But I uh, just want to show you kind of what this seat's going to look like. And obviously you can see it matches the other one. Looks really good. Looks nice and clean. Uh, that's exactly what we're going for. You know, I'm probably going to stick this one back in and do a little bit more here off camera. But uh, needless to say, that's all that there really is to it, guys. Very easy to do. Uh, you know, valve grinding compound. Go back and forth a few times. Just lap the valves. Uh, get them to where you're not going to have any leak. Pick up uh, quite a bit of horsepower. A lot of people end up using, you know, 40, 50 horse out of this because... Uh, they just have a little bit of leak down. Anytime you pull the heads out, do this. It never hurts. It's cheap. It's very inexpensive to do and adds horsepower. See you on the next vid, guys.